am Caroline and today we are going to work on pelvic floor lengthening and opening your hips. So let's get started in child's pose. Bring your knees wide the width of your mat, big toes come together to touch, and then extend your arms long in front of you, let your forehead come down to the mat. Now we're going to start to come into our deep diaphragmatic breathing which is a big inhale into your belly, and then you're going to exhale, just passively let the air flow out. So as you take a big inhale, really feel your belly dropping down toward your mat. Notice that your pelvic floor is lengthening and opening towards your bottom. And then when your exhale comes on, slowly let the air passively flow out. Let's take two more breaths here, inhale. Really take a biggest breath yet this morning. And exhale, let all the air out. One more time, inhale, really fill up. And then exhale, releasing all of that air out. Slowly make your way onto your hands and knees for tabletop. And we're gonna come into some cow and cat tilts. You're gonna take an inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, reach your collarbone long, turn your gaze up. As you exhale, round the spine. Let your head hang heavy. Again, breathe in. As you exhale, let all the air come out. Tuck your tailbone. Again, inhale, arch the back, turn your gaze up. Exhale, round the spine. And then inhale one more time, coming into your cow. And then we're going to start to turn our gaze over one shoulder, starting to get a side bend in the hips. And then we're gonna round back again into our cat. Inhale back to cow, turn your gaze over to the opposite hip. One more time each way. Getting some nice movement through the pelvis, connecting your pelvic floor to your low back and your deep core here. Last time, inhale to cow, turn your gaze over and then coming back into our tabletop. We're gonna take a short trip into downward facing dog to find our next pose. So hands planted firmly on the mat, you're just going to tuck your toes under and reach your tailbone toward the sky. Let your head hang heavy. We'll stay here for three breaths. I really like this pose because again, your rear end is exposed, letting you drop your pelvic floor down and open with a big inhale. And a nice long exhale. Again, inhale, and passively exhale. One more time here, and exhale. Slowly start to bring your right foot to your right wrist, drop your left knee to the mat. From your fingertips on the mat, slowly walk your hands up to your right knee, and we're gonna find a nice tall spine here. So you really wanna make sure that your shoulders are in line with your hips and keep your hands on your knee for support. As we start to lean into our right knee, we're stretching our left hip flexor up and open through our psoas, through our deep core. What you wanna make sure not to do is arch in your back too much. So we wanna bring our spine up and in so we have some space between our right hip. And then we're gonna stay here and breathe. Option to leave your hands down, or you can reach your arms alongside your ears if that feels good, gaining some more length through your right side body. Take an inhale here. And then on your exhale, just soften and relax your shoulder blades down your mat. Take another big breath in. And then exhale. On each inhale, really try to reach your fingertips longer or reach the crown of your head up toward the ceiling. And then as you exhale, softening through your left hip. Release your hands back down to your knee if you had them reaching toward the ceiling and bring them to the inner edge of your right foot. Slowly walk your right foot out to the edge of the mat. And then we're gonna turn the inner edge of your foot up and open. So this is a lizard lunge here. If you feel a lot of sensation and stretching, keep your hands on the mat and your arms long like this. You're going to reach your collarbone forward so you keep length in the spine as you start to open through your left, your right inner thigh and your pelvic floor. If you need a little bit more sensation, you may bring your forearms down to the mat. And if you'd like a little bit more, you can curl your left toes under and squeeze your thigh nice and tight. 
So lots of options depending on where you're working from. Same principles apply. Take a nice big inhale. And exhale, start to soften. Using the breath to continue to stretch your pelvic floor. And with each exhale, we're trying to just lengthen and relax and release tension throughout the hips and anywhere else that you're holding on to. One more breath here. And exhale. Go ahead and bring your knee in. And we're gonna curl the back toes under, stepping your left foot up to meet your right. You're gonna come into a deep Buddha squat. So feet are wide the width of your mat, toes turning out a little bit. And you're gonna drop your tailbone down towards your heels and bring your hands to the inner edges of your thighs so we can find a nice long spine here. So this can be a really great deep opening for the pelvic floor. We're really letting everything drop in and open and it's really hard here to keep your pelvic floor contracted. So I love to do this one to kind of reinforce that lengthening, take a big inhale, really start to notice the lengthening from your belly all the way to the bottom of your pelvic floor. And then exhale, slowly release. Noticing if you're trying to hold on to any tension there. Let's take two more breaths. And exhale again. One more big breath in, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, slowly release. Bring your hands to the mat, bringing your feet in to get to touch. This time we're gonna step our right leg back, come into our low lunge on the left. Again, options to have hands on knee or float the arms alongside your ears. Wherever you're at, remember to find that nice long spine, find space between your hip, and then really send some breath into the right hip flexor as you inhale, lengthen from your hips to your fingertips. As you exhale, softening in your shoulders. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Fingertips to the mat. We're gonna slowly wiggle walk our foot out to the outer edge turning the sole of your foot up and open again for lizard lunge. Again, options are tall arms, forearms to the mat, and you can even take that a little bit further by curling your right toes under, squeezing your right knee nice and tight. Always trying to find length in the spine where wherever we're at. And exhale. Inhale to find length, and exhale to soften. One more breath here. And exhale, let all the air out. Slowly walking up to long arms again. We are gonna step our right foot back up, finding our deep Buddha squat one more time. Two breaths here, take an inhale. Pressing your elbows to press your inner thighs out and open. And then exhale, softening through the hips. Inhale again, and exhale. Now slowly bring your fingertips to the mat and we're gonna come down to a seat and onto our back. We're gonna cross the right ankle over your left knee, coming into a stretch for your piriformis and all those muscles in the outer edge of your glutes. Start to press your thigh away to find a deeper stretch. And then if you need a little bit more sensation, we're gonna grab behind the left knee and pull that up towards our chest. So a nice little figure four stretch here. Again, using the breath, each inhale and exhale to soften. Sending some breath to those areas of tightness and tension, using it to let you help go, help you let go. Take another breath in and a long breath out. So from here, we're gonna take this into a trunk rotation. So we're gonna keep the same orientation of our legs and we're just gonna let them drop out to the edge of our mat and open the arms wide to a T, gazing over the opposite hand. So here we find a light, nice opening through our low back, continuing to open through the tissues of the hips, staying for three breaths here. This can feel really nice. 
We get so tight in our low backs if we're holding bad posture, if we're holding tension and pain, especially in our pelvic floor and lower back area. One more breath here. As you exhale, slowly release and unwind. Uncross, and we're gonna switch, cross the left ankle over your right knee. Start to press your left leg out and open. Go ahead and grab behind your right thigh, pulling both legs up towards your chest, keeping that figure four that we started with. So if you start to feel any tightness coming up, see if you can send the breath there to relax. Really using this practice to relax and lengthen all of the muscles in our deep gluteals, pelvic floor, inner thighs today. One more inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna switch, slowly rock those legs out to the opposite side and turn your gaze over the opposite hand. Sometimes this is a really great place to close your eyes and really use that breath to tune into how are you feeling in your body today? Can you notice areas of tightness and tension that you're trying to hold on to? And continuing to use that breath to open, lengthen, and relax. Last inhale here. Exhale, slowly come back onto your back. Uncross the feet. Reach the soles of your feet up toward the ceiling. We're gonna come into happy baby. So a few options here. You can grab the inner or outer edges of your feet, or if you need to, you can grab behind your legs. All are great options, but the goal is to keep your tailbone and your, your back flat on the mat. So if you notice that you're coming up really high by grabbing your feet, perhaps you should grab underneath the backs of your legs. And then you're gonna use your hands to pull your knees alongside the edges of your waist. And that way we are finding length through the whole spine and tailbone. And again, a really nice opening through the pelvic floor. So two breaths here, inhale. Exhale, soften. Again, inhale, lengthen. Bring the air all the way into the depths of your belly. And exhale to soften. Slowly releasing your feet, bring the inner edges of your feet together to touch. One hand over your belly and one hand over your heart. Three breaths here to finish this morning. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, release tension. Again, breathe in and breathe out. One more nice cleansing breath, inhale. And exhale. Bringing your knees together to touch, roll onto your right side and pause there for a moment before pressing up to a seat, making sure that you don't get dizzy from sitting up. And thank you for joining me today for that practice of lengthening and relaxing your pelvic floor because pain in your pelvic floor is not normal.